Hi, the Pragmatic Luther, Kevin Ledoux at Ledoux Guitars. I'm back with a short uh, chapter, if you will, on the construction of this acoustic bass guitar. I wanted to show you that I have uh, the bracing complete, that is, it's all glued down, and the only alterations I've made to the bracing is I have scalloped off the X brace up here, the upper X's, and I've scalloped off the lower tone bars. Nothing else has changed. Now you may recall that in the second installment of this series, uh, this thing was tapping at A2, 113 hertz. As it exists right now, what I'm getting out of this when I compare with my tone generator is I'm getting A flat to and 108 hertz. So the pitch is dropping uh, as I'm making little changes here which I think is, is good. Well, one person put in the suggestions that I was uh, aiming in his or her opinion uh, at, a, at a final response here of right around 100 hertz. Uh, and I don't know that that is really good advice, but it made sense to me. And I appreciate that suggestion from the person that made it. So I thought, you know, I guess I'm gonna try for that. So that's where we stand now. And I think it's sounding pretty good. I don't recall also if I mentioned, but rather than two finger braces here away from the lower X, I've eliminated one and put just one in the visual center as far as I can tell. Uh, and I also placed this brace up here at the corner of the bridge because I wanted to have physical strength also. I wanted to resist a little bit of the torquing of the bridge. As you look at the top this way, that bridge is going to torque. And we want to keep it from pushing down and distorting this area. So that's why that brace is where it is. So as I finish off the braces and, and develop this further, I'll report back and you'll be able to hear, hopefully, a drop in pitch. I'm gonna wait a couple days before I do this because I just, I just bought, excuse me, um, a, a pretty slick, small plane, a Veritas plane that I'm hoping is gonna be uh, a lot of fun to work these braces down with. So I'm going to wait till that comes in. Uh, lastly, excuse me for backing away from the camera, but I want to show you, I have the back and <clears throat> the back and the rim glued together. And this is pretty cool uh, because when you, when I wrapped on the back, it had a given response, but it didn't really seem to have any, uh, sweetness or ringing percussiveness, you might say. Um, it's, it's not that it sounded bad, but it was, it was as if something was lacking. And what's really interesting is that when you tap on it with that rim on it, it's almost like it's got a megaphone to speak through and it's, it's changed the, the ring and the resonance of it. So things are starting to look or at least sound to me uh, very positive. So that's where we are so far. Thanks for watching this, and uh, I'll be back in another few days with another report on what we've got with this bass guitar. Thanks again for watching.